This is a very useful editorial, contemporary topic. So first I'll read out the editorial, then we'll go to the background information. Highway hurdle. What is the meaning of the word hurdle? Block. But write a better word, write the word impediment. Block. Better word is what? The Chennai-Salem Corridor. The subtitle, the verdict. Write the meaning of the word verdict. Verdict has got two different meanings. One meaning, judgment. Write the word judgment. Second meaning, opinion. Verdict means what? Opinion. The public verdict, then what? At the time of elections, we say the public verdict means what? Opinion. And the verdict on the Chennai-Salem corridor reveals, underline the word reveals. Reveal means what? Disclose. The perils, this is a very good word. Write the meaning of the word perils. Peril, singular, perils, plural. Means dangers, immediate danger. Danger or risk. Generally, we use the word danger. Perils of what? Fast tracking projects. This editorial, in a nutshell, the gist of it, it is about Chennai-Salem corridor. What exactly happened over there? The Tamil Nadu government, they went ahead with this project. And uh, without taking the environmental impact assessment and without proper uh, groundwork or proper homework, then the High Court intervened and it crashed the project. And based on that, this editorial has been written. The editorial talks about how the government has behaved and the writer uses one expression, high-handed behavior means very arrogant, no concern for others. And impact of these projects generally on people and what is the negative impact then what is the role of the government, the center, the state, and the judiciary? These are all the dimensions, and how people got suffered. Now, we'll go to the background information. This is the image of a typical expressway. What is an expressway? Expressways are the highest class of roads. What are they? The highest class of roads. We have different types of roads. The highest class, what is the term? Expressways in the Indian road network. They are usually six or eight lane controlled access highways. Generally, how many? Six or eight. But uh, today I've brought about three GK bits. First, I'll ask the question, which is the longest expressway in our country? It is Agra to Lucknow. And what is the distance? 302 kilometers. The longest expressway in the country, Agra to Lucknow, 302 kilometers. Then which is the widest Expressway. Delhi to Meerut, it has 14 lanes. How many? One, four. Imagine 14 lane road. It is so wide. And which is the oldest? Delhi, Noida. That is the oldest. So these are typical GK bits. Now we'll go to, they are usually eight or six or eight lane controlled access highways. National Express, National Expressways Authority of India operating under the Ministry of a road transport and highways is in charge of the construction and maintenance of expressways. And this is from the US, this picture, not very clear, but see, about five or six layers are there to make sure that the traffic moves uh, smoothly. It takes a lot of years, it takes 10 or 20 years for us to construct something like this. We are not at that stage. Uh, no, no, that's a developed country, nothing to, uh, not a surprise, usual thing. India is a developing country, not a developed country. We should always compare. I tell students, imagine there is a boy or a girl who has convent education, born and brought up in a family where parents use English, and that boy or girl gets uh, 20 plus in English. It is not an achievement. I don't consider at all. But a person from a village with the regional language background gets 20 plus out of 30. That, that is what I call accomplishment. Do you understand? You have to look at the background. The US is a developed country. They can afford something like that. What is India? India is a developing country. So we should not compare. So whatever it is, we'll read out the editorial. I'll read out the editorial. Listen very carefully. And you have to listen and write the meanings. The Madras High Court verdict crashing. Underline the word crash. I think you have the word, write the meaning of that. Crash means what? 
to make something to make something invalid or void to make something invalid or void there's one expression write the expression null and void null and void means what no more legally acceptable it is something like illegal not legal so also write the words like repeal repeal you got this word many a time repeal also write the word revoke revoke so the madras high court verdict quashing land acquisition proceedings acquisition comes from the word acquire acquire means what to get acquisition to get something to get hold of something usually property or something so acquisition proceedings for the proposed chennai salem greenfield expressway is an indictment you have got this word recently i think yesterday you got day before yesterday what is the meaning of the word indictment one is accusation of a serious crime the other an indicator or an illustrator about what is happening in the society usually something bad so indictment of the arbitrary write the meaning of the word arbitrary it has got two different meanings one meaning please write arbitrary means authoritative authoritative dictatorial behaving like a dictator dictatorial you know the word dictator that to that you add dictatorial i a l that means what not considering other factors not considering other parties and taking the decision based on please write one idiomatic expression whims and fancies whims and fancies you take decisions based on whims and fancies means no reasoning then we we also use the word whimsical whimsical so arbitrary decision making decision making process behind the project so the court has made it uh, null and void why they considered the decision arbitrary decision by the tamil nadu government this is a political setback to its leading proponent political setback setback write the meaning mishap or misfortune also write the word disappointment first you write the word mishap what is the spelling m i s h a p then you write the word misfortune no i am not going to use the screen i want you to listen and write misfortune raise your standards misfortune then you write the word disappointment disappointment so disappointment to its leading proponent what do you understand leading proponent proponent means the one who promotes a particular activity or a particular idea I write the meaning of the word proponent promoter proponent means what promoter promoter of a particular idea or a particular system or a policy or a project who is that uh, leading proponent chief minister adapadi k palaniswami tamil nadu chief minister given the extent to which he went too aggressively stifle write the meaning of the word stifle it has got two different meanings one meaning goes with everyday english write that meaning first stifle means suffocate suffocate what is the spelling of suffocate mm. you guys are really you want me to write all the time otherwise you are not happy suffocate this is this meaning goes with everyday english but uh, write the other one uh, restrain also write the word curb curb you all know curb means what control and restrain this is the second meaning goes with this context stifle all criticism and protests against it curb all the protests the court has referred to how peaceful protests were stifled so the court has referred to the protests were peaceful but the tamil nadu government has stifled those peaceful protests and also unwritten gag orders were promulgated the other day i gave the word gag gag means what your mouth is covered with a piece of cloth then what is the word for that gag not to make someone speak you don't allow someone to speak and uh, usually ask a question you don't respond and outsider someone is there outside what do, what does that person think the master must have gagged all the students that's why they are not speaking 
That is the impression created. So you got the meaning, gag. Fine. Gag orders were promulgated. That's a very good word, right? Uh, promulgated meaning. Execute, execute or implement a policy. Implement a policy. I am really, to be very frank, I have been eagerly waiting for the day. The day when, when I say something, you listen and write, and you're very comfortable. Do you understand what I say? I hope that day, will, that day will come very soon. You don't look at the screen, you don't look at me, but you just listen and write in your body language, quite happy and quite comfortable. So I hope that will happen very soon. So what is the meaning of the word promulgated? Implement or execute a policy. And a police force was used to handle the peaceful protesters who were making a request to spare them. Underline the word spare. Spare here means what? Not to consider. Please write the meaning, spare. Not to consider. Not to trouble. In this context, please write. Not to consider means not to trouble. Spare them, not to trouble them. Please spare me means what? Don't trouble me, don't touch me. Leave me alone. General meaning of spare is what? A spare part, extra, spare time, extra time. So spare them and their lands. It was only after the court intervened, write the meaning of the word intervened. Intervene means what? Interfere, indulge, involve. Don't write the word indulge, write the word involve or interfere. The court intervened, means what? The court interfered. It was a peaceful protest. The government tried to do something negative. The role of the judiciary came into picture. And uh, next what? It was only after the court intervened that these high-handed actions, that's an idiomatic expression. High-handed means arrogant, not considering others, not considering others, emotions or problems. High-handed behavior, right one combination. High-handed behavior. It is nothing but being very arrogant, proud, not giving due respect to others or others' problems. High-handed actions subsided. That's also a very good word. Subside means what? Reduce, to go down. Generally, it goes with... Uh, generally, it goes with... Uh, okay. Generally, it goes... Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Generally, it goes with emotions. Violence, write the combinations. Violence, violence. Then emotions, negative emotions. Also write uh, tides, T-I-D-E-S. High tide, low tide. The tides have subsided. Here, uh, there, the role of the government, it talks about that, and the high-handed behavior that subsided. It invalidated. Invalidate means what? Make something not legal, not valid. You can make out from the word. It invalidated the notification for intent to acquire land for the project on the ground that the National Highways Authority of India cannot acquire land without complying with the requirement of preparing an environment impact assessment report. See, it's such a lengthy sentence. So difficult to understand. Please underline the from where to where this sentence? Sometimes, these days you're getting questions, spot the errors, sentences like this. So you got to be attentive, you have to read once or twice. So it invalidated the notification for the intent. Intent comes from, from this word, what do you get? Intention, right, intention. To acquire land for the project on the ground that the National Highways Authority of India cannot acquire land without complying with the requirement of preparing an environment impact assessment report. So what does it mean? All these projects, what is a prerequisite? They have to get the report, a green signal from this environment, environmental impact assessment report. They have to get. Once they get it, only then they can go ahead. Without that, they cannot. In this case, they did not get that. Still, they went ahead. Next. The decision is important for affirming. Write the meaning of the word affirm. Affirm means what? In this context, affirming the principle means to stress. To stress or to confirm. Write the word confirm. Confirm. 
or to stress. Also write the word emphasize. Affirm means what? Emphasize. Emphasize what? The principle that environmental clearance ought to be obtained. I have given, I think, uh, is it, has it been underlined? Ought to be obtained. Please underline as one unit. Now, please listen very carefully. Ought to, that is a helping verb. But it has become outdated. If you take uh, the helping verb should, it has uh, two or three functions. What is the basic function? It is used to suggest or advise someone. Someone is smoking a lot. What is the advice? What will you say? You should stop smoking. And someone is wasting time. What do you say? You should not waste your time. But suggestion is very specific. Someone asks, sir, which book shall I buy? Then I say, you should buy that book. That is what? Uh, suggestion. Old English, in a formal situation, we would use ought to. You ought to be punctual. Means what? You should be punctual. You ought to be diligent. Means what? You ought to be hard working. But modern English, this has become outdated. In a formal situation or an informal situation, we use the expression should. You should be punctual. You should not waste your time. But in the past, ought to formal and uh, should informal. Now, this particular expression, is it in active voice or passive voice? Are you guys listening? Huh? Active voice or passive voice? Passive. passive voice. What is it in active voice? Tell me. Immediate. You can't take so much time. You ought to obtain the report. You ought to obtain the report. Change it to passive voice. The report ought to be obtained by you. So, ought to be obtained passive voice. So, is allowed to advance to a which stage? A stage where measures become irreversible. Means what? You cannot change them. It underscores. Underscores, you all must be knowing the typical meaning. Underline or underscore typing. But in this context, it means emphasize. Please write the meaning. Underscores means what? Emphasizes. Emphasize. That sufficient data on the possible harm to the environment is needed before resources are committed to a project. Possible harm to the environment is needed. In this case, not only would land titles be transferred to the state, heavy compensation amounts would also have been paid by the time the environmental impact is known. So generally, when they acquire land, what happens? Two things happen. One is the land goes to the government. In that process, the people who give the land to the government, they get the compensation. But it takes a lot of time. Sometimes it may take five years, ten years. And uh, they may get, they may not get if the government changes. All ifs and buts are there. Then the next one talks about what? The project was pushed by the center. Then he talks about this project. Whose brainchild is it? Please write the expression. Brainchild. Brainchild means what? Oh, no. Brainchild of someone means his idea, his project. Brainchild of the chief minister means idea of the chief minister. The project has been developed by the chief minister. It belongs to the chief minister. Hope you got the meaning. So. The project was pushed by the center and the state, even though it was set to pass through wetlands, fertile farmlands, reserve forests, and water bodies. See, when the project goes through, passes through all these, the impact will be positive or negative. Obviously negative, so they have to get the assessment report. Without that, they cannot go ahead. That is the reason why the court has quashed the project. Farmers who stood to lose their land and environmentalists had questioned the claim that by reducing the transit time, write the meaning of the expression transit time. Typical meaning of transit time, the time taken from one place to another place, one port to another port. There would be saving of fuel, thereby cutting the carbon footprint. Generally what happens, the government has its own stand. In this case, they, the environmentalists objected. The farmers also, they objected. They protested, in fact. But the government justified its stand by saying, once they go for this project, they can save the time. What time can they save? The transit time. 
When they save the transit time, what happens today? Every country talks about the carbon footprints. We are not supposed to create, uh, leave a lot of carbon footprints. We have to reduce the carbon footprints. That means pollution. And when a lot of vehicles uh, travel for a long time, that results in more carbon footprints or less carbon footprints? More. So the government justified saying that when we cut the transit time and the carbon footprints get reduced, that's a good thing for the country. But whether it can be really justified or not, then we have to read. What has been exposed in the verdict is that the eight-lane corridor was never really cleared as a project under the centers. What is it? Bharatmala Pariyojana. It's an Indian expression. It did not figure in the list of, right, the meaning of the word figure. Figure has got many meanings. As a noun, two or three meanings. As a verb, two or three meanings. But here the meaning appear. What is the meaning of that? Figure in the list means what? Appear in the list. It did not figure in the list of road projects approved under Bharat Mala 1. The NHAI did not explain in its counter affidavit how the Chennai Madurai Highway, an approved project, was dropped. Here the government dropped one project and they placed this project. Was dropped and the Chennai Salem project included in its place. The court examined the record and found that there was nothing to show that it was approved by either the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs or the Public Private Partnership Appraisal Committee. The Chennai Trichy Madurai corridor had much higher vehicular traffic to justify its inclusion in Bharatmala. Actually, they included the first one. Which one is that? Chennai Trichy Madurai. But the Tamil Nadu government dropped that one and included this one. And this one has more traffic. That means it stands first when it comes to the justification from the government side, not the present project. Then it talks about the court's conclusion that labeling its replacement by the Salem project as a policy decision. So what did the Tamil Nadu government say? The court must have asked, why have you dropped that project and why have you included this project? One thing they said, it is going to reduce the carbon footprints. Then the court must have said, if that is the case, you have to go for that project, not this one. And the second one, the government said it's a policy decision. Then what is the response of the court? Here, the court's conclusion that labeling its replacement by the Salem project as a policy decision was not a sufficient explanation, was not a sufficient explanation is unexceptionable. Having failed to convince the court that the procedures it followed were above board, I think you got this sometime back. Above board means what? Honest. Please write the meaning. Honest. Full of values or morals or principles. Write one more expression. Integrity. Write the word integrity. The decision is above board. Means what? Honest. The, the least that the center can now do is to make a comprehensive study. Comprehensive means what? Complete. Write one more word. Write the word exhaustive. Exhausted is different. Exhaustive is different. Exhaustive means what? Comprehensive or complete. Usually these words go with syllabus. Write the combination words. Comprehensive syllabus. Exhaustive syllabus and study, touching every dimension. So comprehensive study of its impact on the environment and on farming and rural livelihoods before moving ahead. Livelihood means what? Your profession, whatever you do to survive, that is called livelihood. So this is all about uh, the express way. Now from what can be learned from this? Two idioms, one is what? High-handed behavior means what? Arrogant behavior. And what is the other one you got? You got one more. Somewhere you got uh, above board. Means what? Honest. And what are the phrases here? Land acquisition proceedings. Acquisition proceedings. Land acquisition proceedings. It's a leading proponent. Means what? The main promoter. These high-handed actions. We also use the word high-handed behavior. High-handed attitude combinations. The transit time, the time taken to move from one port to another port. 
before moving ahead means what before taking another step now how many words about 20 words you have listened to me now i you have to respond hurdle means what block or impediment perils immediate danger or danger or risks verdict judgment or opinion crash one is to make something invalid also repeal revoke those words you have to remember and acquisition to get something usually property or wealth indictment accusation of a serious crime one meaning another meaning is what an indication or illustration of something bad happening in the society which has to be condemned arbitrary dictatorial or authoritative something like a, a negative thing not considering others opinion or others problems and setback mishap misfortune or disappointment proponent promoter stifle one is suffocate what is the other one restrain or curb control gag Sometimes I can give one expression if you remember. Uh, no, no. Some people can speak fluently. That is a positive thing at the workplace, presentations, or uh, marketing. Then we use the idiomatic expression, gift of the gap. Then I said children, some children keep on talking. No sense at all. Then what is the negative expression? Chatterbox. So sometimes uh, chatterbox, then we use the word, he should be or she should be gagged because they speak so much you get headache but related word a rag write the word rag which part of speech is it rag it's a verb or a noun both as a as a noun if you go to the kitchen usually ladies they use a piece of cloth for cleaning something and what is the telugu word for that <laughs> so in english we call it a rag a waste cloth for cleaning purpose and uh, there's one idiomatic expression please write a rag to riches a rags to riches a rags to riches means from a very poor state to a very rich state today if you take ambani's there is a typical example the story of ambani's is the story of a rags to riches very poor stage today they are the richest i think top 5 in the world unimaginable then uh, write one more expression a rag picker p i c k e r who is a rag picker you go to any colony morning you see some people they come with a gunny bag they collect all the plastic covers or papers they are called rag pickers next to promulgate that's a very good word what does it mean promulgate means implement a policy or execute a policy you could also write the word proclamation proclaim means announce in public proclamation pronouncement spare not to trouble please spare me means what don't trouble me and uh, intervene and <laughs> interfere all. okay subside reduce invalidate make something null and void not legally acceptable comply Oh, tired, comply, not, not to follow the rules and, comply means to follow the rules and regulations and uh, affirm something that is ascertain or confirm or emphasize all these, underscore, one is this typing related, the other one emphasize, figure, appear, comprehensive, complete livelihood way of living for survival okay now take the handout i have changed uh, i am going to change a bit uh, now it is going to be from the exam point of view i will be changing the exercises two days you spend time on match the word to the meaning today you don't see that what is the first one word usage 
what is the given word here figure now there are four sentences one is an odd one read all the four and tell me which one is the odd one Mm. Red pet, red pet. Have you read all the four sentences? So, which is the odd one? Who says the fourth one? Why? That is not correct. And who says uh, the third one? That is right. What is the reason? Now, the figure of thirty thousand deaths annually from snake bite is startling. Startling means what? Surprising, puzzling, bewildering, puzzle. bewilder here what is the part of speech of this word figure please write noun the desert with white and black geometric figures is beyond one's comprehension so how come figures in the geometric figures in the desert it is a little difficult to understand so which part of speech is this please write noun the issue of disarmament policy figured prominently in the talks between the two countries what is it here which part of speech verb now within no time the young rock star became something of a cult figure here figure is which part of speech cult is an adjective it means it has two different uh, meanings one goes with religion some people they follow a particular person then we say that person has become a cult figure means a lot of people all these uh, babas and uh, godmen and the second a popular person in a particular field imagine uh, you take pop music and uh, sometime back uh, michael jackson he was a cult figure people would, would go mad to see that guy and would tear off the shirts and they do all sorts of crazy things for the for his to just have a glimpse of michael jackson he was a cult figure and uh, what is wrong with this which part of speech is this So which one is the odd one? In three sentences it has been used as a noun, one sentence it has been used as a verb. So what is the answer here? The third sentence is the answer. Now you see some uh, words I think they are bold and dark. Praise improvement from the passage. Police force was used to handle the peaceful protesters who were making a request to sparing them. to sparing them or to spare them so, the decision is important for affirming the principle that environmental clearance ought to obtained before any project is allowed is it ought to obtain or ought to be obtained passive voice ought to be obtained farmers who stood to lose that land and environmentalist had questioned the claim what is the spelling of lose in this context what is the first error lose that land or their land please correct it farmers who stood to lose their land that is the correct expression the controversial project did not figured in the list of road projects approved under so where is the error did not figured or did not figure so past tense negative and interrogative forms the verb should be in the basic form without to or bare infinitive what is the reason we have already used a past form where is the past form did do did done first verb we use a past form second verb we use a basic form without to and what is that called bare infinitive and what is the last one the court examined the record and found that first you underline the verb found that there was nothing underline was to show that it is approved by either the cabinet committee or something else so two verbs in past then can you have the third verb in present so is it is or was was 
Now today, this is again first time. What is the word you got? Peril. Which part of speech is it? First, it's a noun as well as a verb. As a verb, what are the forms? I brought only present, past tense, past participle. It could be double L or single L. Either way, it is correct. Please make a note. Peril, periled, periled. A regular verb. Peril again, noun. Perilous. It could be single L or double L. Adjective. And what is the adverb form? Perilously. Adverb. Second, arbitrary. Part of speech? Adjective. Arbitrarily. Adverb. Arbitrariness, noun form. Stifle, it's a verb. Uh, what is a, it's a regular verb. Stifle, stifled, stifle. And uh, what is a noun? Someone tries to suffocate you. And what do you call that person? Stifler, noun. Then acquire, acquired, acquired. It goes with what? You acquire knowledge. You acquire wealth. You acquire resources. Remember the combinations. And what is a noun form? Acquisition. And what is the adjective form? Acquisitive. Do you think it is useful or we don't have to bring word forms? How many of you want word forms at least twice a week? Raise your hands. Fine. Now we'll see the idiomatic expressions. A breath of fresh air. Write the meaning of that. Something that is new and creative. Something new and you could write the word innovative the 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 state needs a breath of fresh air so what does it mean something that is innovative always chasing rainbows means what trying to do something not feasible, something not feasible. He is always uh, chasing rainbows, means what? He is always trying to do something not uh, feasible or possible. Add fuel to the fire. Make a situation worse. Something like, already it is bad. You try to make it worse. And someone got offended, he's feeling bad. Then you look at him and you laugh. What will happen? It is what? Adding fuel to the fire. Then he will take out all his frustration on you. What is the next one? Under a cloud means what? To be suspected. Someone suspects a person. Then we say that person is under a cloud. The chief minister is under a cloud. That means what? People are suspecting him. Now, pass out has got two different meanings. One meaning goes with defense, army. When someone completes his initial training in armed forces, and he comes out of that uh, armed forces after initial training, we use the expression pass out. He has passed out successfully. But everyday English, please write uh, to faint or become, faint or become unconscious. Become what? Unconscious. Get over means it goes with uh, diseases and problems to overcome. See, pass out when she worked for 10 hours at a stretch or after working for 10 hours at a stretch, she passed out. Means what? She fainted. Are you guys listening? Yes. Huh. Get over means what? To overcome a problem usually a disease also a problem disease you write 
write one example she got over she got over the problem within no time she got over the problem within no time means what she could resolve and she came out of that problem pass away <laughs> not a good one means what there is one idiomatic expression origin could be indian origin what is it kick the bucket kick the bucket means what same meaning and i have a strong feeling indian must have created that one <laughs> cut down on something cut down means what to reduce it takes a preposition on please put a star cut down on the number of teas the number of coffees cut down on cigarettes means what reduce cigarettes all health related i brought only 4 4 because i today i redesign i had to redesign last night so the space not quite sure so i i got the handout based on that if i can squeeze in some more then i will get 5 every day if not 4 because last time when i saw the handouts uh especially words meanings i don't think uh, the space was enough am i right hmm. now word map what is this related to roads simple words you don't have to write what is the first one avenue I write the meaning avenue means a road with trees on either side avenue means what a road with trees on either side So what is the next word? Alley. Alley means a narrow street between buildings. A narrow street between buildings. Between the buildings you see narrow streets. Then you use this word. And this is uh, pronounced as boulevard. B double O. How do you pronounce? Boulevard. Boulevard. That is. Write the meaning of it. Wide roads in a town or in a city. Wide here. Wide roads in a town or a city. And I've given this word already. Cul-de-sac means what? A dead end. A road with a dead end. Dead end. You enter some road. Finally, it's a dead end. You have to turn back. then what do you call it curly sack these are some important words but try to add more words that's it for today shikam